Hi, this is Adam Peltras with Coral Clarity, and I'm going to show you why I believe FLAT is the best online notation program out there. For the last four years, all of the music that I sell on Coral Clarity has been composed using FLAT. So when you purchase anything on my website that was composed in the last four years, you will see this product. So I'm going to show you why I believe this is the best program, why it's so intuitive. And before I start, I want to be clear. It's not as complex as Finale or Sibelius. But for 99% of the people out there, you can do whatever it is you need to do on flat, and you could do it quickly because it's so intuitive. So let's get started. I'm going to create a score. I'm going to call it Inspired because I'm inspired to show you how easy flat is okay now i'm going to click on vocals i'm going to create a soprano alto let's say soprano alto bass it's called inspired i'm going to change the tempo let's make it 60. i i want it to be a little slower now i can change this and say inspired Today, I changed the title. Let's say a song for everyone. And I'm going to give myself the credit because this is going to be a wonderful composition. Let's copyright it too. So here it is. Now, I don't like the fact that it says choir soprano. So I just click on it. Here are the pieces. By the way, you could move them around after the fact or now. See how it moves around. And I'm going to, oh, well, let's put that back. Soprano should be on the top. And I'm going to change the name. And instead of calling it choir soprano, I'm going to call it soprano. And I'm going to abbreviate it as an S. So when we move forward through the score, it's going to just say S, not S-O-P. Okay, I'm done. Actually, I'll do it for the other ones just so you can see. Get rid of the choir alto. And we'll do the same thing for the basses. B. Done. Now, when you're typing in the notes, you can either click to have the keyboard. Now C, it's C5, C4. I'm going to move down to the general range. And you could say, all right, I want C. D. Or you could instead just type in on the keypad C, D, E, and you would get the same result. Now, if you notice here, there are, now I've clicked on notes just so you can see. It says zero, uh, equal sign, minus sign. And you can see all these shortcuts. If I want a quarter note, I hit three, it's already there. But if I want an eighth note, which is four, I could just hit four. Or if I want 16th notes, I hit five. You can just hit any of those numbers to get what you want. So I'm going to do two eighth notes. Oops, sorry. So I'm gonna do two eighth notes by hitting four. And now I'm gonna do CD. Now that's listed as an uh, eighth notes right now. And I'm gonna make it into a quarter note. So I hit three. And then I can write it. And look what happens. It creates a whole nother measure. Over here, I'm going to start from here. I'm going to make half notes. So I hit two. So I got a half note. And I'm going to put a low G. Actually, I'm going to make that a lower G. So I go down. There's my low G. And the next part, I'm going to make uh, eighth notes. So I'm going to hit four. And I'm going to hit C. C, I'm going to go back down to G, and it knew this time to go down to the low G because I did it the first time. I'm going to hit another G, and now we're going to jump up. Let's make this a half note. I'm going to hit two. I'm going to hit B. Okay, and then we'll end. I'll just do, actually, I changed my mind. I'm going to turn it into a quarter note, so I just hit three, and we're going to turn this into a ha uh, half note. In fact, you know what? Let's add a dot. So I hit a dot, and now I made it for the whole measure. 
So while we're at it, let's just do this. Let's just make uh, one. So it's the whole measure. I hit C. And I'm going to do a uh, G for this. And actually, let's make it a half note. So I hit two. And I'm going to make this two Cs. C, C. Okay, so you can see how easy that was. Now you can also change this to a different display where you can see it going across. Now watch this. This is in the key of C. If I want to transpose it, all I have to do is go here, change the key. It's in C. Let's turn it into G. Transpose. Now it's in the key of G. It's that simple. Um, let's go back to the other display. I like the bigger display. And I don't really want to look at the piano anymore. So here it is. Now we clicked on notes. If we want to go to articulation, the same thing happens. If I want staccatos, let's get off of this. Now I'm on this note. I hit staccato. I could click here or I could just hit one and it's staccato. Next note, I want a staccato. The next note, I want a tenuto. So I hit three. What an accent. Oh, it's six. So I hit six. It's all there in the way that you want. By the way, when we get to measures, I'm going to show you how I delete this measure. But you can see here, anything that I want is right here. Now I go to ornaments. If I want a tremolo or a trill, all of these things. Now I go to dynamics. Let's say I want, well, you can see verse crescendo, decrescendo. We're going to do a crescendo in measure one. Now, I, I don't want it on the bottom. I like it on the top. So I just click it up there. And I want it to be for the whole two measures. So I just click on it and I extend it. Now for dynamics, hmm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can see how easy that is. So I'm going to hit piano. And we're going to make this piano. So let's hit four. And this, I'm going to make this uh, forte by hitting six. I can hit for piano and so on. Pretty easy to do whatever it is you need to do. Now for measures, if I want to add a measure, I just click add or subtract a measure. Here we are at the end. I'd like to delete a measure. So I'm going to just hit delete. And now we're down to two measures, just the way I like it. If I want to create a rehearsal number or letter, here we go. Let's do A. There you go. If I want to add retards, I can add a retard. All this stuff is so easy. Now, if I want to add text, there are, there are a few things that you can add. You want to add lyrics. Here are the lyrics. Let's start from the beginning. Uh, I'll make it capital. Hello. How are you? Oh, but that should be um, a slur. So we go back to articulation and I do that and now it's connected. I want lyrics. And by the way, on finale, to create lyrics took forever. I would always be on the wrong line. It would be very confusing. But here, it's just so intuitive. Hello. I'll do hello. How are you today? Pretty easy, pretty clear. Let's do it on YouTube. Hello today. So I've just created this beautiful piece. On the top, if you want to annotate something, just click the annotation. Use all dynamics. You could put chords as well. And now if I wanted to print, I just click on print, start printing. So this is pretty easy, pretty easy to use. And it saves here, and you can use it on any computer. You just log into Flat, and you can use it on any computer, even on your phone as well. So here are some of the pieces that I've used. Now, in terms of pricing, how do we get there? 
So in terms of pricing, so a lifetime subscription is $199. If you use my link, you get 15% off of that. So it comes out to roughly $170, which is very inexpensive considering Finale or Sibelius is several hundred dollars. And every time it needs to update, you need to pay the update fee, which is usually around $100. So you pay one price, and whenever they make an update, it automatically comes into the program, and it's there for you. You don't even have to think about it. You also get 15% off an annual subscription. So $49 a year, 15% uh, off would be about $7.5 off if you pay up front for one year. That's really inexpensive. So I've been on the annual plan for the last four years. And the only reason why I'm not on the lifetime plan is because I didn't know it existed until now. I recommend the lifetime plan and I'm going to switch to it. But uh, if you want to give it a try, try the yearly subscription. You're not going to go wrong with it. You can see how easy it is. And for those of you who feel like it's an overwhelming challenge, to use a notation program, this will change everything for you. It will be so easy to use. You're going to want to compose every day. You're going to feel so confident in yourself because there's nothing you won't be able to do right away. This is completely intuitive. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. I hope you use uh, the link to get the 15% off. And I would be more than happy to show any of my subscribers how to use this program more in depth if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.